Wade Hampton Boulevard is one of the busiest roads in Greenville. If you've ever driven it, you know how congested it can be. Absolutely. SCDOT held a meeting tonight to show residents how they plan to make the roads safer. 7 News' Chloe Salsameda has more. There were about 1,500 crashes on a three-mile stretch of Wade Hampton Boulevard within just a couple of years. SEDOT is working to make some renovations to the road to make it safer for drivers and pedestrians. An estimated 40,000 cars drive on Wade Hampton Boulevard every day. But at least one section of the road has had a lot of crashes. It's a three-mile stretch. We, probably, we had over 1,500 crashes in a five-year period. So, and that's pretty high. We had around 10 fatalities in this location. That three-mile stretch is located between Karen Drive and East Lee Road. To reduce crashes here, the state's Department of Transportation plans to add concrete medians in different areas along the road to stop people from crossing several lanes of traffic to make left turns. So a lot of times um, you find that you know, the most of your serious and fatal crashes are going to be your left turn crashes. The way to alleviate that is you try to reduce that left turn movement onto major highways and, and you want to encourage people to make those movements at signals. Joe Farmer has lived near Wade Hampton Boulevard for decades. Well, I think they have some legitimate recommendations here because there are too many crashes. We do have a lot of curb cuts, even though this is going to be frustrating to some of us that frequent these businesses, it does make practical sense to make some of these adjustments. The pink is the area that there's not existing sidewalk, so that's where we're going to add sidewalk. Traffic engineers also want to make Wade Hampton Boulevard safer for people to walk and jog. They plan to make crosswalks more visible and add more sidewalks. We also noticed that there was a lot of area of foot traffic that were in, in this corridor where they didn't have sidewalks. So part of this project is we're going to have connectivity of sidewalks from the beginning of this project to the end. Construction is expected to begin in the fall of 2024 and take about a year to complete. In Greenville, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News. The SCDOT is accepting feedback about their project until September 15th. You can learn more about how you can submit your comments. Just visit WSPA.com.